Some years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. Not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. India is celebrating its 75th year of independence, uh, which has been named as Ajadi Kamrut Mahachal, uh, especially to celebrate the life, culture, work of the people of India uh, during this period, especially. And one of the theme in this celebration has been the contribution of scientists in India's freedom struggle. that what exactly can be contribution of scientists in freedom struggle. But if we really think deeply, we find that their contribution is no way less than that of the freedom fighters who sacrifice their life for the country. The SNGO Center has organized a series of talk to basically discuss the life and work of this great illuminaries. Science can afford to wait, but Swaraj cannot. He cried on the stage in the dais after getting the note. The reason is there was no Indian flag on his chair. And in the official speech, he said, I am dedicating my Nobel Prize to the freedom fighters of India who are spending the golden time of their life in the British. And till the end of his life, every year, he gave a lecture on 2nd October in honor of Mahatma. You have to keep in mind that the scientist actually worked in a very adverse situation. They had to face many discrimination. In spite of that, they were very determined on their scientific endeavor to enlighten the face of their mother nation, which that time was really at the shackle of the British rule. Professor Ray was an academic entrepreneur, first academic entrepreneur of the country. And his vision for India was, uh, progress of India and Indians can only be possible through education and economic prosperity of the masses. And therefore he founded we all know the Bengal Chemical and Pharmaceutical Works in 1892. We see they were the scientist, educationist, humanist, philanthropist, rationalist, and patriot or par excellence. Uh, the first thing that I want to remember is that he was a firm believer that scientific and rational views lay the foundations of modern age. And this is what he wrote uh, the transformation of all the advanced or rapidly advancing countries has been brought about by the acceptance of a scientific and rational view of life and nature. This is the foundation of modern age. And there are probably two distinguishing features between what we call Eastern science and what we call Western or modern science. And the distinguishing aspect of Western science is through design experiments. J.C. Bose probably was the very first scientist in the Indian subcontinent to adopt that philosophy. So that's why he is called the doyen of modern science in India. Sir Jesse Bose, when he got the job, he was given much lesser salary compared to the British professor and he refused to it and he didn't accept his salary until and unless it was made equal to the British professors. So that's a way of a very, very distinct way of saying 
that we are not going to accept any of this kind of discrimination. So, scientists in their own way made a mark. Lord Kelvin, Lord Rayleigh, all of them were there at the Long Island Royal Institution and they congratulated their symbols because this was effectively a first demonstration of propagation of signals without any wires. <laughs> আমরা জানি আছে এই যে নক্ষত্রের মধ্যে যে বিক্রিয়াগুলো হয় কি হয় কারণ হাইড্রোজেন থেকে হিলিয়াম তৈরি হয় এটা যদি না জানতাম যে সূর্য হাইড্রোজেন হিলিয়াম দিয়ে তৈরি করে এগুলো বোঝা সম্ভব ছিল কি করে জানতো তারা বিগ ব্যাং ইত্যাদি সেগুলো ব্যাখ্যা করা সম্ভব ছিল যদি না আমরা আগেই জানতে পারতাম যে মহাবিশ্ব কি দিয়ে তৈরি আমি কিন্তু ডার্ক ম্যাটার ডার্ক এনার্জি বাদ রেখে বলছি অরিনারি ম্যাটার হ্যাঁ তাহলে এই যে সাধারণ বস্তুগুলো অরিনারি ম্যাটারটা কি দিয়ে তৈরি সেটা আমাদের বলে দিল সাহায্য করেছে And meanwhile, Einstein himself, while he said, I'm not in agreement with your idea, he was feverishly working on Bose's idea. So in 1924, he worked on the statistical distribution of atoms in a monatomic ideal gas, which is really the only difference with what Bose's calculation is that you keep the number constant. So these are massive particles, and you get it a massive Bose's gas. And that immediately has this phenomenon that the molecules cluster at the ground state, which is known as Bose-Einstein condensation. Now these papers were by Einstein alone, you see. No boss in this. But Einstein was generous enough to accept that the method he was using had been discovered by Bohs, but he was not going to share this glory with some obscure person from Asia whom he had never met. Professor B. N. Jaktab, who is also our uh, governing body chairman, and he spoke on uh, Acharya Prafila Chandra Ray. It's a monumental book on glorious achievement of ancient India in the field of chemical and medical sciences. Uh, he, he himself was an expert in uh, Sanskrit language. And being a, an expert chemist, there cannot be any better combination to interpret the advances in chemical, medical, and metallurgical sciences in ancient India. The talk on uh, Sir Jesse Bose was given by uh, Professor Shivaji Raha, who was uh, the former director of Bose Institute and having known all the details of the archive and all the great works and the instrument and every detail. So, those were brought out. The journey from physics to biology. To sum up Jesse Bose's uh, life's contribution and Sir Neville's uh, quotation was repeated there. And they said that if his electromagnetic research was 60 years ahead of their times, his plant biological research was a century ahead of his times. Because many of the measurements that he had predicted are now being repeated, and there is actually a very vibrant field called consciousness in plant. Similarly, the talk on Professor Ashima Chatterjee was given by Kali Prashanna Dhara, who, is the, who was the former PhD student of Ashima Chatterjee. So, therefore, has seen Ashima Chatterjee from a close distance. Linus Pauling. When you were in Caltech, তখন তার কিছু দিক কিছু কোন 16 ঘন্টার জন্য মাত্র তিনি কলকাতায় এসেছিলেন শুধুমাত্র অধ্যাপক অশোক চট্টোপাধ্যায় এবং তার ল্যাবরেটরির ছাত্র এর জন্য দেখা করতে বলে এবং তার সাথে পরিচিত হয়ে বলে সত্যি কথা বলতে মৃত্যু 3 মাস আগে তিনি নিয়মিত সায়েন্স কলেজে গবেষণা করে এসেছেন ছাত্রদের সঙ্গে ইন্টারঅ্যাক্ট করেছেন इवन ইন দোজ টাইম ইউ ক্যান ইমেজিন হোয়েন উই ওয়ার রিয়েলি আন্ডার দ্য রুল অফ দ্য ব্রিটিশ गवर्नमेंट for a woman in this country 
it would have been even more difficult because you were discriminated in the two ways. You were discriminated because you were an Indian and you were discriminated because you were a woman. She was the first woman to do research in particle physics in India and she did pioneering research on cosmic rays with so many nature papers and you know a paper which was close to Nobel Prize and uh, this was a pre-independent India and uh, she went abroad did experimental research in a male dominated field and it showed exemplary courage and conviction and uh, it is completely a mystery that why she was so him invisible and she was so hidden. Professor uh, Shotendranath Bose actually was very attentive and had the idea that the science communication should be in Bengali. So the Bongyu Bigyan Parishad was instituted by him specially to have science communication in Bengali. So keeping that in mind, three of the talks out of these 10 talks we had in this series are in Bengali because we felt that would be the right way to mark the respect to Professor Shottam. Banglai, jara biggan ba korte parin na, ba bojhe pe parin na, tarra hai biggan di bojhe na, na hai tarra Bangla jani na. Ah, usse bhi bahu chhod chhod ki baat hai. Ah, ei je ekti line, ami shabshoy mani bolii, je amader deshe biggan de kaun biggan jani chulbe na, tadhe chesta chai. I think the uniqueness of this series uh, which has had an added value is the analysis and the perspective of this domain expert. He was a complete product of the Bengal Renaissance. He was a mathematician, a physicist, chemist, spectroscopist. He was a great musician. He used to play the Israj. He was a great conversationalist. He uh, propounded this particular or proposed uh, formulated uh, measure of distance uh, which is called d squared. I am not going to give you formulas etc. but d squared is now used uh, in, in various domains of science uh, from manufacturing to quality control to uh, measurement of uh, physical differences and so on and so forth. It was published in uh, the Journal of uh, Asian Society of Bengal and one of the most seminal papers ever, most cited papers ever uh, in, um, in the Journal of the Asian completed his PhD in 1975 under the guidance of Paula. Papa returned to India in 1939. Papa is well known in physical sciences for the discovery of power scattering, still used. And of course, we were the first to propose the existence of a heavier cousin of neutron. Uh, so, this series uh, will be beneficial to a common person who is interested about the history of Indian science as well as to the science researchers who are keen on knowing more details about these great personalities. They did not have money to buy a spectrogram. So he found out who is the richest man in country. The richest man was G.D. Birla. So Raman wrote a letter to G.D. Birla and Raman was always as a monumental ego and for very audacious. He said that if you give me money, I will bring the Nobel Prize in one year. Bidla gave him the money and he brought the Nobel Prize not in one year but two years. Okay? <laughs> Also 
also to the school kids to know about the great fame and achievement India at one point of time has achieved in even in this pre-independence era. These talks are given, it is a very nice blend of expert level science as well as very common man language of explaining those great discoveries. So, I do hope it will be useful to a big community of the people of varied interests where it will be a showcase of all the achievements of this great scientist. When somebody asked J.C. Box whether he felt cheated by not having got the Nobel Prize for his discovery, J.C. Box's answer was that it doesn't matter who gets the credit for it as long as the work gets done. <laughs> If he did nothing else but founded the Indian Statistical Institute, his name would be etched in the annals of science. Aji hote shato bhor sho pare ke tumi polichho boshe, amar kobita khani ko tu bhor So it's not hundred years yet, and it was not a poem, but it was her uh, you know, scientific work which I was going through. But somehow I felt an invisible bond with her. He was undeniably the founder of quantum statistics and therefore a pioneer of a great deal of modern science. And you know, that is enough. We shouldn't ask what Bose did afterwards. Finally, that's the formula. That's what will remain when none of us are there, when Bose is completely forgotten. This formula will remain forever. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.